Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today, we're going to learn about 10 signs that you are an ambivert. Now, let's begin. Number one, balanced conversations. Introverts are great listeners. They pay close attention to people's thoughts, emotions, and concerns. Their fine-tuned observational skills pick up on all kinds of small, subtle signals. When talking to an introvert, people feel heard, but rarely get the chance to listen. Extroverts, on the other hand, are outspoken and expressive. They're excellent communicators who effortlessly channel their emotions into their speech and behavior. While extroverts are charming and energetic, they rarely spend time out of the spotlight. Ambiverts identify with both styles of communication. They wield the careful listening skills of an introvert while freely expressing their emotions like an extrovert. More often than not, the best conversationalists you know are ambiverts. Why? Well, because extroverts ask for too much attention and introverts ask for too little. As an ambivert, you fall right there in the middle, getting the best of both worlds. You'll lend your careful ear to a friend in need or hold a playful conversation with a stranger. Neither situation feels uncomfortable for you because you're the perfect balance between introvert and extrovert. Number 2. Limited Solitude Do you like spending time alone? Do you crave solitude after a few hours of social activity? Introverts are best known for social isolation. Many introverts retreat into their private lives, entertaining themselves with independent passions and hobbies. Introverts may spend all of their time alone, yet they still crave the peace and quiet of a night in. While ambiverts are far more social than introverts, they also require alone time to relax and recharge. In a 2019 essay, ambiverts are renamed social introverts. They like stepping out of their comfort zone. They enjoy the energy of social situations, but eventually they retreat back into their shell. Many ambiverts hide for extended periods, much like introverts, before returning to their normal selves. Because of their need for solitude, ambiverts usually split their time about 50-50. They may cherish those afternoons spent drifting amongst their own thoughts, but when they've had a chance to recharge, ambiverts unlock their social side and become the life of the party. Number 3. Friendships – Quality and Quantity Introverts and extroverts make friends very differently. Introverts preserve a small but closely knit group of friends who they've bonded with on a deeper level. These friendships are strong and often last for years, surviving hardship, long distance, and other major life changes. Extroverts build the opposite kind of social circles. Their friendships are broad and numerous. Extroverted people find themselves a part of many friend groups but spend little time bonding with each individual friend. Extroverts know a little about a lot of people, while introverts know a lot about only a few. Well, what about ambiverts? What do their friendships look like? Ambiverts befriend a diverse spectrum of people, much like extroverts. They're typically a member of several friend groups, however, they rarely overextend themselves. As an ambivert, you may have lots of friends, but you always make an effort to connect with them on a deeper level. Number 4. Situation Specific Does your personality change in different environments? Are you energetic and enthusiastic in a crowd, then reserved and independent at home? According to the same 2019 essay, the personality of an ambivert is situation specific. In other words, as a true ambivert, you'll swing from one personality to another almost like you're a different person. Now, of course, you're not really a different person. The personality of an ambivert is incredibly flexible. As an ambivert, you may say things like, I'm up for anything, or everything sounds fun. And you actually mean it. Your personality type thrives in just about any environment. To quote our 2019 essay, Ambiversion is the most adaptive and stable combination of introversion and extroversion. Number 5. Two styles of work. What style of work suits you the best? Do you excel on your own, or do you prefer collaborating with a group of people? Introverts and extroverts fall on opposite ends of this question. Introverts are notorious lone wolves. They do their best work alone, far away from anyone else. They rely on themselves, make their own decisions, and decide their own schedules. And they're really good at it. 
If you throw an introvert into a group setting, they usually struggle. Among outspoken co-workers, introverts may fade into the crowd. They rarely voice their ideas, even if they are the most knowledgeable people in the room. Extroverts feel at home in a group setting. They have no problem speaking their minds and working with others. They're excellent collaborators who turn any group into a more social and productive unit. But what happens when you leave an extrovert to their own devices? Well, this is where many extroverts struggle. They find it difficult to stay motivated and inspired on their own. Their energy fades, their productivity suffers, and their work ultimately pays the price. Now, if you're an ambivert, you can work well under almost any conditions. You can inspire and motivate yourself, enjoying the freedom of independent work, but you can also vocalize your opinions as a member of a team, collaborating well without disappearing into the background. In fact, ambiverts make some of the most capable leaders. They're well-liked by their co-workers, consider other people's opinions, and make everyone feel heard. Ambiverts aren't afraid of the spotlight, but they aren't afraid of the dark either. Number 6. Healthy Skepticism Introverts are skeptical about everyone. It takes a long time to earn their trust. Extroverts, on the other hand, give their trust away very easily and often pay the price for it. Luckily, ambiverts know when to be skeptical and when to be trusting. Unlike introverts, ambiverts know that people aren't always what they seem. But that skeptical attitude has its limits. At some point, you have to start trusting someone. Otherwise, you'll never bond as friends or partners. If you're careful of others without going overboard, you're probably an ambivert. Number 7. Effortless Persuasion Are you a persuasive person? Many people assume that extroverts dominate in every social category. While extroverts make friends more easily than anyone, their persuasive skills aren't always as effective. Why? Because they overlook the deeper concerns of other people. That's where ambiverts shine. Remember how ambiverts observe and pay attention like introverts? These observational skills are ideal for leading groups and persuading other people. Well, just imagine you're trying to sell someone a car. Extroverts are fantastic at getting their foot in the door. They'll introduce themselves to loads of customers and gather all kinds of interest. But closing the deal requires a much different skill set. You have to understand the real concerns of your customer, which is where ambiverts excel. Ambiverts have the confidence to get their foot in the door and the mindfulness to understand what someone really wants. In a 2013 study published by the Journal of Psychology Science, ambiverts were considered the most persuasive personality type. If you make great first impressions and understand the needs of others, you're likely an ambivert. Number 8. Consistent Indecision How do you spend your free time? Do you find yourself craving two opposing extremes? True ambiverts struggle with this all the time. There are many advantages of being an ambivert, Great communication, considerate leadership, steady friendships, but ambiversion also comes with its fair share of obstacles. For example, ambiverts struggle to balance their introverted and extroverted cravings. One side of their personality wants introspection and isolation, while the other demands social energy. How do you satisfy both sides of your personality at the same time? Almost every ambivert gets stuck in the middle. Introversion pulls you one way, extroversion pulls you another, and you're left wondering which way to go. Number 9. Laid-Back Attitude Assertiveness is another common roadblock among ambiverts. In this video, we've talked about how ambiverts succeed socially. They make friends easily. They handle attention well. But there's one thing that ambiverts rarely ever do. Initiate. Whether it's starting a conversation with a stranger or pushing their own interests, ambiverts avoid starting things themselves. For example, at any social gathering, an ambivert may light up and have the time of their lives. They'll flourish in and out of their comfort zones. But ambiverts rarely cross this boundary by choice. While an extrovert has already made three new friends, ambiverts spend the entire night talking to the same people. As an ambivert, people may describe you as laid back, relaxed, or carefree. There's nothing wrong with a passive approach. Just don't expect an ambivert to reel in a stranger. Number 10. 
seeing both sides. This is the easiest way to tell if you're an ambivert. If you're listening to this video, you've probably heard about these personality types before. You've read articles about introverts, you've listened to videos about extroverts, but then you found yourself in a strange position. Instead of identifying with one or the other, you see bits of yourself in both. If this sounds like you, hey, you're an ambivert. This unique personality type is often left out. Ambiverts vary so significantly between introversion and extroversion, they're difficult to nail down. However, if you identify with polar opposite characteristics, that's a telltale sign that you're an ambivert. But remember this, your personality will grow and change over the years. New challenges and experiences will nurture different aspects of who you are. A die-hard introvert may find themselves enjoying social connections. A lifelong extrovert may crave a few days of solitude. An ambivert may start leaning one way or the other. Personality types help you understand your wants, needs, and behaviors, but all of those things can change. So check in on your personality as time goes by. Reflect on the kind of person you are today because you never know how you'll change in the future. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.